Hey everybody, it's Kay. I'm here today with my second BoxyCharm by Ipsy for March of 2024. I get two boxes because in the months where there's the Icon box, one of them is going to um, change into the Icon box and the other one's going to stay a BoxyCharm box. I love the BoxyCharm box. This is my favorite of all the boxes I get. So I would find that I was missing out on things um, because of the uh, and I like the icon stuff too, but I also like to get the boxy charm by Ipsy. So anyway, um, this is uh, the little thing that comes in here, um, and it talks about uh, the, some of the products that are in here that you could have gotten, and some other some other dates. Okay, so I do read it. Um, it's it's helpful to have it. All right, so what this they do is they choose, I'm gonna, I just did another filming, so I'm gonna clean off my hand here. So they choose two products and they call them power picks. And then you get to choose three from a, um, a three different categories and there's six in each category. And so also I did get a boost. And so uh, we'll talk about what, what boost item I got. Okay, so this box came with the two power picks were this Elemis Peptide Recovery Eye Cream, okay, and I have had this in the past, and I liked it until it turned fishy on me, so I don't know what happened to the one I had before. Um, I don't see an expiration date on here. So I don't know what happened, but this one does not smell fishy. I'm gonna use it as long as it doesn't smell fishy. I'd actually never had that happen with another product. That's been several years ago. So this is a $49 product. Um, it's the Peptide 4 Eye Recovery Cream. So, I love Elemis products. Um, this is actually the only one I've ever had any trouble with. What this is supposed to do is revive tired looking eyes with a blend of firming peptides, nourishing coconut oil, and brightening plant extracts. So, interested to see how that works out, and I'm probably gonna try to use it sooner than later because I, I think it could actually, I don't want it to turn fishy like the other one did. Okay, so then they chose for me this Wander Beauty palette, and it's a trailblazer is what it is. Okay, and I do have this on today. This did also come in the other box, um, and here it is. And I think that there are four mattes, and then there are six of the shimmers. So I'm... My preference is pretty much always going to be shimmers, but I will say that these shimmers are quite shimmery. Okay, here's the mattes here. So there's the light one and then the other in a moss green color. Uh, I don't really know that moss green, the greens didn't end up quite like I thought they were going to end up. So I think I'll definitely get use out of this light one and this one here. And let's look at the uh, the shimmers that, that they have here. So again, there's six of them. I was really thinking the moss green was gonna be the one that I would like the most. These are the ones on the bottom row. This is the moss green. And then this is sort of a cream one, a pink one, and then sort of a uh, orangey gold one here. So I'm gonna see what those look like. And here they are. So those are pretty. And so the, what I used today is I did use the uh, the mossy, I used this up by the brow bone. I used this one sort of a, a right over the lid. Uh, this one in the inner corner here, or maybe this one, it was one of these two, whichever one's lighter. And this one's sort of, um, you know, more in this area. Now, I don't overdo it with eyeshadow because that just doesn't work out for me <laughs> when I do. It just doesn't look good. I don't feel comfortable with it that way. The last two from the top row are these two here. 
Okay, so this even this is a little bit of a shimmer. This just doesn't have these dark dark colors. Just don't really have a place for me. They just don't work out with me. And then, you know, what'll happen as well is they'll tend to transfer. So anyway, it's a nice palette and I'm happy to have it. Okay, so the boost item, and I did try this today and I think I'm gonna like it, is, okay, here it is. It is the Sicilian Light, oh, there's probably another language there. Okay, yes. So one side is a, I think Italian, and the other side is is English. Sicilian Light. This is by Skin and Co. Okay, and I do have other products by this brand. I like it. It is a, a vegan, squalene and prickly pear and blood orange truffle complex. Other products that they have have the truffles in there too. It's supposed to plump and illuminate, and it is a brightening serum. Now, this is a $60 value. Okay, we get it open. And it comes in a small bottle. Look at that, that's sort of small. Um, so this, I chose the other, the, the Ole Henriksen in the other box. I'd like to, if I can, get two different things. And this just really appealed to me because I have other products by this brand, so, I think I'm gonna like it, but boy, that's not a lot of serum in there, is it? So, then we move over to the items that I can choose. And there's three categories. So in the first category, I could have gotten the Cura Moon Serum, which I have and I like. The First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Wild Oat. I think it could be a toner. I think I have that. And the Miss Fame blush, which I, that just didn't appeal to me. The Il Maquillage uh, gloss in PDA, which I already have. The um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Genius, which I already have, and I, I need to you know be better about using that. Or the SL Miss Glam brushes. It's a set of three brushes for forty-five dollars. Um, I have, and they're green for St. Patrick's Day in March. So I have other brand, uh, other brushes by this brand. I've always liked them. Um, so this looked like something that I would also like. One of them is a, I can't, I'm having a little time getting it open. Most of the time these packages will seal back. I don't think this is going to, because I just have to rip it open. So it comes with, okay, this is a blending brush here, okay. And it seems nice. And it has the little jewels. They always have the little jewels. This time they are a little green color. So that's a blending brush. And this brush is a round blusher brush here. And that feels really nice. It feels well made. I like it. And I like that it's green. Okay, this is sort of a bit of an angle brush, and this is called a contour bronzing blush, is what this is. See that it's angled? Okay, so I think that's a good choice for me, and I'm happy to have it. So in category two, I could have chosen the Shana B. Miami Flamingo Liquid Highlighter in Nude, and I just didn't really need it. The Mud Masky, um, that's a, it's a night serum mask and I really thought about it and I should have gotten it maybe some other day, day I will the defiance beauty eyeliner I have a few eyeliners I didn't really need another the TYS um, beauty lip butter it was supposed to be in honey but I don't think that they came in honey for anybody um, and a basic beauty sponge set of two or the pomelo company uh, shampoo this looked interesting and so this is what I chose. And this is a $30 value. Now, let's see what it smells like. It's supposed to smell like, okay. It's supposed to smell like vanilla. And it does. Does not, does not have a safety seal. Um, I use shampoo every day. And this just looked really intriguing to me. So, and I like to try new brands that I haven't tried before. And this one, P 
Camillo. Hmm. I think it just it just felt like a a scent, just a, a light scent, and it's vanilla bean, cocoa seed extract, and coconut oil, and it's a target frizzy hair and leave it looking and feeling smooth. I don't really have frizzy hair, but let's see what else it can do for me. Okay, so then in the third category, I could have gotten the Kate Somerville Eradicate. Uh, it's a it's for when you have uh, bl uh, blemishes. I don't really have many of those anymore, but I like that product. So if I didn't have it or if I was running out, I would have gotten it. The Mish Cho lipstick in Ijama, and I thought about that, but it was a little that one I think was a little dark for me. The Ace Beauté uh, liquid eyeshadow, and I don't really like liquid eyeshadows that much. The Riddle Oil in Voyeur, which I got in the other box, and the the Galactic Scrub, which I got as an add-on in the other box, and then this. I got the uh, conditioner <laughs> that goes with the, the shampoo because I think that's always good to have those uh, two things together. And in the other box, I didn't get this this opportunity. So I was really happy to get to try the combination together. So that's what the choices were. So I did make some uh, choose some add-ons like I typically do. And I was happy to get this little Life of the Party Volume 2 Shades by Shan. Um, this was, I, I actually got, or it's coming in the other one, the neutral one, but I like this one with these colors in it. I like this brand, and this is a $20 value, and I think this was a $3.50 add-on, if I'm not mistaken. Here's the colors. So, I think I'm really going to enjoy... I don't know about the dark. I think I'm going to actually like all of these colors, but I'm particularly going to enjoy, I think, these two. And maybe putting this even with a lighter color than that one. So I'm happy to have it. I'm glad it didn't come busted. Sometimes these little ones do, but it didn't. So I'm happy to have that in good shape. Okay, so then I was able to get this Luna Magic Liner. And I think this was a $3.50 liner. And I like the ones, this is one that you that you don't have to sharpen it. And I think that's a pretty color. And it seems really smooth. It says it's red, but it looks almost like a berry. So I'm really happy to have that. Okay. And then I was able to get this uh, little Dat Gel Eyeliner Though by Pinky Bee Beauty. And this color is a really pretty cobalt color. It is also one that rolls up, which is my favorite type. And this is what it looks like. And I do like to use blue eyeliners because um, they do add a little bit of a pop of color with brown eyes. So that one has a nice feel to it, like it'll go on pretty well. Okay, so I wanted to try this Tatcha dewy skin cream i have the water cream i wanted to try the uh this is i this i think was a five dollar add-on um but anyway i wanted to try it um i did get and i don't have it in over here but i did get the yensa in the uh light tube concealer and it was just way too dark for me you couldn't know um so Anyway, I, I'm going to have to go with the, the shade of uh, Fair 2. So this is, uh, that's the one that's going to work for me, but Light 2 is just way too dark. The, uh, I always, this Anastasia Beverly Hills Lash Sculpt, uh, this is a wonderful mascara here. And this is a full size. This was, I think, a power pick for a lot of people. I have some of the, um, I do have a full size that I got out of the Trend Beauty Box. Fell in love with it immediately. It's one of my favorite uh, mascaras. Um, it just, uh, it, it just, it does. It, it, it's volume and also a little bit of curling. It's Lash Sculpt. Um, there, this was a product that came out recently. I'm not going to open this one because I have others open. 
but um, I was able to get also some deluxe samples, which were quite, or well, I guess it's travel size, which were quite large. This is just an excellent, excellent mascara. Uh, today, actually, I have on the Rare Beauty one, which is also an ex excellent mascara. Okay, so Dallas and James. I have this product this for this brand in several products. I think a serum and a moisturizer. This is their overnight retinol oil. And this looked intriguing to me. Now it's called Watermelon Dream. A lot of their products, and it does have an expiration date of nine of 26, but this just looked intriguing to me. And since I have some of their other products and they always have really pretty bottles too, there it is. Um, so I thought I would give this a try. And what this does, Well, Dallas and James face oil. So I'm not always thrilled that it's an oil because I do have combination skin. But anyway, we'll see how it absorbs. Overnight retinol made with watermelon, cloudberry, avocado, and rosehip oil to help smooth fine lines, support collagen production, and banish dullness by helping by helping strengthen the skin barrier. Use it two to three times a week at night only. So we're gonna have to give it a try. And again, when it says don't use it more than a certain number, there's a drop or two, that's what it looks like. When it says don't use too much of it, they really mean don't use too much of it. And it's a drippy, uh, it's a little drippy too. It does have a very faint watermelon smell. So we're gonna have to see how it works. So happy to get to try it out, okay? And I got two more add-ons and then I have a, um, a points thing in here. So this Acton Acre Cold Press Stem Cell Scalp Serum is just, I think it's good. If you're having trouble with breakage or you, um, you wanna uh, have, add some thickness or add some thickness back to your hair, I think this is a wonderful product. And so I've gotten this before. I've used half of the one I had. And so when I saw an opportunity to get this um, as an add-on, and I knew it was a product that I that I really liked and that I would be continuing to use for myself and, and also other people in the family. Um, it's got a little dropper. I'm not gonna open this because I have one open, but it's a little dropper like we saw with that serum. And you just sort of, you know, put it in your scalp and or wherever, you know, if you're having breakage, you know, like up in here or whatever. And just an excellent product. So I've been, and I started out with getting their hair towel and I like their hair towel. So then I was able to get this Gloss Modern Clean Luxury Shampoo. Um, I think a lot of people like the smell of this. I do like to try shampoos. I use shampoos once a day. <laughs> so I like to get to try nicer shampoos. Okay, so this is both, and I think this is a $65 value for both of these. This is made in Canada. Let's see what it smells like. Okay, I really wanna smell it. It has like a safety seal on it. So anyway, this is what it looks like. Okay, it smells nice. It smells like a shampoo that I would like. Let's see if I, I have any information on this. Um, so it's $65 for the two. It's a uh, Gloss Modern, it's a vacation inspired scent. It protects color, it leaves hair shiny, and it has notes of Mediterranean almond and coconut. Okay, well, I don't think I would ever pay like that much for this. I mean, that's pretty expensive. That's on the, the uh, price level of a uh, 
Living Proof, which is one of my favorite shampoos. I'm also using a sh uh, shampoo right now that I got from the new company in my FabFitFun box, and I really like it. It's a sort of a replenishing shampoo, and I have noticed with that new and co shampoo that I have less breakage and less, you know, uh, hair that, that wants to come out for whatever reason. I have very thick hair, but, but you know, I just noticed that you know, more of it was coming out, and, and I was thinking, well, what, you know, I needed to stop that. <laughs> so when I, when I got that product, I was really happy to have it. And I got this little Eloise cupcake, and you know, I think that what this was, I think this was an add-on, because, oh no, it's not. It was an add, it's an add-on, it's not a points item. So this was a $3.50 add-on, and I just thought that the color was cute. Um, I like the brand, and this is what it looks like. And for $3.50, here it is here. Let's see if it has a smell to it. If it does, I can't smell it. But anyway, I thought this would be great to just, you know, put in the purse. I just, I have to keep my lips uh, with either lip oil or something on them. Um, or lip gloss because I they just get dry. So then this was a point item and this is the Sarah Moya Plus Fig Long Lasting uh, Vegan Lip Stain and this is by Seraphine Botanicals. And this is what the box looks like. Um, I like products by this brand. I thought this would be a color that I would like. And we're gonna see what that looks like over here. Good size, this is a uh, I think, I don't know whether this is a full size or not. This is the color right here. I think that's a very good everyday color and it does dry down and it is, it does act as a stain. Okay. So anyway, um, I think that's everything in here. Oh wait, there's one other thing in here. What is this? Okay. This is the Yentza in light one, okay. So I did, I actually got three shades of it, trying to figure out which was the right one because I really need a serum um, highlighter and I just, they were a good price. And I actually think that the, the light two is too dark, but this light one is something that can work for me. On right now, I have fair two, but this product looked like it really matched my skin pretty well, but I think that really what we're gonna look for more in a highlighter is one that's a little lighter than your skin, okay? So there it is right there. I, I do think I could use it. I mean, look at that. It just, it blooms in pretty well, but I just felt that, um, I. Th Especially like, you know, when I, when I knew I was going to film today, I thought, ah, I need the one that's a little bit lighter. So I'm still trying to figure out um, which one is the best one. This one's pretty good, though. So I'm happy to have that. And I think that is everything in here. So thank you for stopping by. And I hope you enjoyed seeing the things I got. And I hope you enjoy your box, too. Have a good day. Goodbye.